So the Bud Light thing just does not seem to be going away, and it doesn't seem to be getting any better for Anheuser-Busch. Hey everyone, Brickhouse here. Um, man, Dylan Mulvaney just went, I'm not going to say nuclear, but he did throw a haymaker at Anheuser-Busch over the whole Bud Light fiasco. And not saying that I support Dylan in any way, shape, or form. I don't. But this this is where we're at right now. Um, Dylan Mulvaney explodes on Bud Light after controversy. Controversial transgender influencer Dylan Mulvaney blasted Bud Light in a video Thursday afternoon for not coming to his defense after the company's paid marketing engagement with him blew up in their faces, causing Anheuser-Busch to lose billions of dollars in market value. Mulvaney, a man who claims to be a woman, said that he wanted to address the issue because he had an uncomfy feeling that he wanted to get off his chest. I took a brand deal with a company that I loved, and I posted a sponsored video to my page, Mulvaney said. And it must have been a slow news week because the way that this ad got blown up, you would have thought I was like on a billboard or on a TV commercial or something major. But no, it was just an Instagram video. The ad which featured Mulvaney promoting a special can that had his likeness on it led to more bullying and transphobia than I could have ever imagined. Mulvaney claimed. And I should have made this video months ago, but I didn't. And I was scared, he said. And I was scared of more backlash. And I felt personally guilty for what transpired. So I patiently waited for things to get better. But surprise, they haven't really. And I was waiting for the brand to reach out to me, but they never did. And for months now, I've been scared to leave my house. I've been ridiculed in public. I've been followed. For a company to hire a trans person that, and then not publicly stand by them is worse, in my opinion, than not hiring a trans person at all, he later added, because it gives customers permission to be as transphobic and hateful as they want. And the hate doesn't end with me. It has serious and grave consequences for the rest of our community. And you know, we're customers too. I know a lot of trans and queer people who love beer, and I have seen some lesbian friends who could drink some of those haters under the table. But to turn a blind eye and pretend everything is okay, it just isn't an option right now. Mulvaney said that claims that the entire transgender debate was political or not accurate, adding, there should be nothing controversial or divisive about working with us. Um, well, there's Dylan's response to Budweiser. Now, Budweiser's response... And again, this is not how you handle the situation. In response to Mulvaney's rant about not getting enough support, Anheuser-Busch issued a statement to the Daily Beast that was incredibly weak. So weak, they couldn't even name or reference Mulvaney in their response. Anheuser-Busch is committed to the programs of partnerships we have forged over decades with organizations across a number of communities, including those in the LGBTQ plus community. The privacy and safety of our employees and our partners is always our top priority. As we move forward, we will focus on what we do best, brewing great beer for everyone and earning our place in moments that matter to our customers. So there's Anheuser-Busch's statement. Black. First of all, if you're going to respond to Dylan Mulvaney's statement, show some guts and name him. Please. Especially when you have somebody that's craving attention say things like they're transphobic and hateful. In other words, you're calling the customers of Anheuser-Busch products transphobic and hateful. So 
Anheuser-Busch is not even showing support for their own customers. Not to mention the fact that Dylan Stick is basically mocking women, which is very similar to, you know, biological males participating in women's sports. That's an affront to women. What should, where the response should have been, hey, you know, we stand by our customers because the customer is king. And And that's the root of this whole thing, is the fact that without customers, you have nothing. Dylan Mulvaney attacks the customers of Anheuser-Busch, calling them transphobic and hateful, and Anheuser-Busch puts out a weak statement, who one, doesn't reference Dylan Mulvaney, and two, doesn't support their customers. Let's see what the sales numbers look like after this week. So there you have it, the latest in the whole Bud Light Dylan Mulvaney fiasco. Uh, if you would, please, if please, 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 feel free to comment down below, share your opinion. Uh, while you're at it, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Uh, hit the notification bell to get notified when my content becomes available here on YouTube. You can also catch me on Rumble and Odyssey. And as always, I thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you later.